Well, how do the chums to the captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm playing Starfield. Now, sorry if you can hear children in the background. That's actually my neighbours. Yeah, so it's quite, pretty warm, so I've got the window open. I don't think you can hear them. I think the noise gate's doing a good enough job. But anyway, jump on in, and I'm jumping over to Mars in this episode, people. And we're going to be scanning Mars. Hold on. Does that thing count as a... Oh, Demius. I've completely surveyed Demius. There's this one over here as well. Phobos. That does not look like a planet. It looks like a freaking spud in space. Well, we jump on over to Demios. So we might as well scan that before we do Mars, since we've already done one of these marbles over here. Set course. Travel. I guess. And we're off to Phobos. The moon of Mars. Okay. Well, it doesn't look anything of aught, does it? All right, let's, uh, let's get it scanned then. How many minerals are on this blanking thing? Oh, that's it. It's freaking surveyed, people. Done. All right, well, that was easy. All right, well, we might as well go do Mars itself then now. Okay, so we have landed on Mars because we've been to um, the old whatever, whatever whatever the place was on Mars. Oh, for fudge sake, just scan. Show me the minerals. Right, okay. So we've got quite a fair few minerals to find here. Hmm. Okay, there seems to be one portion of Mars where it's minimal rich. The only thing is, people... As as you can see, this is not the night, the light side of the planet. So it's going to be dark where I'm landing, but that's where all the minerals are. So I'm going to have to go there. All right, I'll see you there, people. There we go. Touching down in my lovely red and white and black craft matches my logo colors. I do like the ship customization in this, even if it is just changing the colors. Which is, I have built an extra floor on this ship. Tell a lie and put on extra engines and storage. Are your scanners picking up anything? They're not. So, where did they get the hands? Oh, you <laughs> freaking jester, Hubert Cumberdale. Come on, matey. We've got things to do. Oh, look, there's two points of interest on Mars. OK, well, let's go hit that one up over there in the distance. OK, we're heading there. Let's see if we can spot any blues on the way. There's one in the ground. Somehow that registered as two. OK, brilliant. I was like, buy one, get one free. Oh, gosh, any others? Any others for any more, for any more? Okay, well, I'm not seeing any blues lighting up the land. Oh, tell a lie. There you go. There's two on this rock over here. Water and water. Okay, we should be able to scan these in a couple of meters. There we go, people. Boom. We got those little critters. Heck, yes, we did. Let's head on over this way then. So we've already got to get one more land mineral resource. Okay, here we go. We've just arrived at our first point of interest. Scan that. Scan that. And there's probably one more inside of this crater, isn't there? Oh, okay. Maybe not. Uh, um, normally it goes a little bit more crazier than that. So I think we've got one more to scan. There we go. Oh, no, that's a rock pile. Okay, well, we can get over here to that rock pile. Okay, that's that's lit up. That's like lit up like a Christmas tree. But it hasn't actually given me much when it comes to the site survey thing oh there you go how is, is that it nope nope okay strange normally you scan like two or three things in one of these craters and it pops up with a point of interest we've got the two there is the other one over there then or here or there there it is it's right here there you go that should have registered oh no we need to get one more point inside of this crater Okay, let's just get up this hill. Oops. Let's see if we can find the last point of this crater. Is it over here? Yes, there we go. There we are. That one's 100% scan decoded. All right, well, what's over yonder hill? Oh, it's another one that's exactly the same, probably, as this one. So we probably don't want that one. We've got a cave or structure. That's a structure. What's this one? There you go, natural formation. We'll head towards that because it looks different. But we've already managed to get all four resources now, people. So I'll see you at the next sort of location. And hopefully it will be a point of interest that can register. Right, oh, well, I've made it to this geological formation. You know what? It doesn't look too dissimilar to the one that we was already at and scanned and done. We've only got to get two inside of this little rock hole. We scanned it. There we go. That's both points of interest done. Hubert Gumberdale, we can head back to the ship, my friend. Okay. 
let's do that then. Let's head back to the old shipity man ship ship. Yeah, it's a very quick episode this time, chums. I honestly thought we might have to actually land on Phobos, but we didn't. We just had to scan it from space, which was pretty cool. We're going to head back inside the ship. Is that OK with you, my friend? Come on, let's go. Let's head back on in. I'll see you in the ship. OK, so we managed to scan the whole of Phobos. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol oh. Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances. In short, no fun. Right. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Lovely. That reminds me, we should really go and find out where Barrett is, and perhaps try to help him out if he's in some sort of predicament so anyway let's just hit on up this and let's just see how we're getting on now that is now scanned and so is that can i zoom in please yes okay lovely demios is scanned too what the fudge is this demios star yard we've actually been there uh, i think they sell ship parts and things like that for demios vehicles so i think we're good there in fact let's go and see what what original star parts they have because why not since this is the whole scanning of mars okay let's see if we can hail them hail civilian vessels are allowed to dock at deimos star yard brilliant give me the docking option then please my friends okay i'm coming in hot i'm coming in hot dock there we go I know. My parking skills are excellent. <laughs> okay, here we are at Demios. Let's see if we can actually buy some of the unique parts they have at Demios. Hello? Well, hello. Hello? I wish to buy stuff. I wish Demos was exclusively a military contractor. Do you really? Why? Why is that? Okay. Uh, what's this then? Demo ships are responsible for countless victories. They're a true piece of history. Well, thanks for that. I was, I was actually just wondering that. I wasn't. Don't tell him. Okay, right. Delivery opportunities. Right. Okay, for Oh, great. Looks like we've got a new mission there. All right. Resource listing. Okay. I've come across planets with most of those on. Okay, cool, yeah. Job posting, thank you for your application. Well, there we go. Thank you for your interest in Demios. I didn't know I was, but I am now, apparently. Okay, brilliant. Uh, I guess so, then. All right, what's this one, then? Tracker Alliance, self-service bounty clearance and mission board. We've got a mission board here, people. Let's have a look at the old missions. We might as well pick them all up, because they might just happen ambiently, you know? And if not, I'll just do them in my own time. I could do these, like, at the weekend or something, live for people, couldn't I, you know? Yeah, heck yes, why not? All right, so where is the actual... Where do I buy ship parts inside of this bloody place? What's that down this way? That's back to my ship, isn't it? That's where I came from. Yeah, that's just where I came from. Hello! Well, thank you very much for the welcome. That was very cheerful. <clears throat> okay. You coughing at me, love. Oh, okay, cool. Well, this looks like it might be a place to buy stuff. How do I get down there? Okay, I saw a staircase this way. Come on, Hubert, no come on down. Ship can hold a candle to a demos. It's not even close. Is it not? Thank you. God, these people must be on bloody commission. Oh, look at this guy just standing there. That's like a urination stance. Hello, mate. What do we have here? A civilian. In my star yard. Yes, me. Demos prides itself on being the UC's first and last line of defense in space. Okay. But we're more than happy to protect and arm bold entrepreneurs that do their business among the stars. I got some moolah. I'm glad you have time for civvies then. Brilliant. Anyone that flies in space earns my respect. Cool. Heck, an independent may be even braver. You don't have a fleet at your back when the Crimson Fleet comes calling. No, just shoot them. So, let's see about getting you a proper ship. Heck One yes. Sweet. Yes. Yes, I like to view and modify my ships. Okay, let's see your ships. Certainly. Oh, that's pretty sexy. 
It's called the long sword. The long sword. Very nice. Hmm. Pretty good. Not so bad. Not so bad. It's got 200 cargo, though. Mine's slightly better than that on cargo. Again, small cargo, but I do like the look of it. Very gunmetal grey. I'll be turning, changing the colour immediately, though. Holy fudge, that's got a lot of storage capacity. Look at that. 3,680 on the storage. I don't see any guns on the dang. Oh, yes, I do. Right underneath the cockpit. It's got some lovely cannons there. Hmm. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. What else you got? Okay, storage capacity on that is freaking terrible. I like the name, though. The Phalax. That's pretty cool. Oh, my days. What the fudge is that when it's at home, then? Okay. Um, storage capacity is fairly low, but... It's kind of cool. It's got a lot of power for its systems. Um, just no. I don't like the colours. I can change the colours. That's not a thing. That's not a deal breaker. And we're back to the long sword. So nothing massive there. Excellent. So if I was to go into shipbuilder, into X, hopefully we're going to see some of the things that they might have inside of here. That is, is, is um, you know, only in oh fudge and heck. I don't want to. I don't want to touch anything. I just want to go into the shipbuilder thing, you know. Um, go into here. Here we go. And I think all the stuff that's unique to these places is usually at the bottom. I think they might be even designated with something, you know. Okay. There's no scroll bar. It's, oh look, all this stuff that's greyed out down here. I'm not too sure why that's greyed out. That says Horizon Defense down there, Vanguard. Ballistic Solutions. There you go. That's something that is probably Deimos only, which is like the Deimos landing gear. It's a shame there isn't something just to filter out the things that are unique to a station. There probably is. I'm just not seeing it on my list of controls. Okay, cool, yeah. What else you got? Ah, cockpits. I think these are all Deimos cost cockpits here. Very cool. Oh, I like that one. How many bridging ports has that got at the back? It's got one connector port at the back. There is one that I've seen that's got six. It's got two floors. Obviously, it's not Deimos, then. Yeah, you need to be rank one on ship design. So maybe I need to go into my ship tree. Before I build my ship of my dreams, I think I need to get the ship building skill. But yeah, anyway, it's, that's that's when the you get Deimos. About your spacecraft. Come back to Deimos. I will, mate. Heck yes. So if I go into skills, where's my skills? Skills. And if we go into ship building, which I believe is over this way, and it might be under technology. So there's ship design there. Ship engineering. I think we might have to invest in both of those. But to be able to get down there, I've got to unlock a load of perks that I don't bloody want or need. It's a bit tedious, this skills tree, in that way, isn't it? It is. Engine systems, energy weapon systems. I suppose it makes sense to invest in all of these. But at the moment, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get myself up to be quite formidable when it comes to lasers. So I'm going to get that one anyway. So what do I have to do there? I need to kill 100 enemies with my energy weapons. All right, so we've got to go on a massive killing spree before I can then get the level four, which gives them a 5% chance of setting them on fire. I want to become a freaking laser ninja is where I'm going with this, people. And then, then we might start looking more into the old ship perky building -y type stuff. But there's other stuff here that I still want to unlock. There's so much that I want to unlock, people in the viewers. Anyway, let's come out of here. Let's just go into the old save menu. Make a quick save. So there you go, people. I have now scanned the whole of Mars and its moons, if you call them moons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've heard you before, Commission Lady. Hold on. I'm seeing frickin' double. They've even got the same spots on the forehead. They're frickin' twins. Like, totally identical. Holy fudge. They're cloning people here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here before they clone us. Come on, Hubert Cumberdale. Hubert! 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 Run, Hubert! Run! Is that is that your run, Hubert? No, mate. They're cloning people. I've seen evidence, mate. Let's go. Let's go sit over here for a second, and let's just admire these. Let's just let's just have a little sit. Here we go. Nice. This is quite comfy, actually, for a cloning facility. This place has got this place has got some pretty nice, comfortable chairs. 
Yes. Oh, look, they've got a scarab. They've got a scarab in the middle of that table and a terrible cup. So much I would like to nick. They've also got like a Jupiter statuette there. Nice. But they've got a security guard that's armed. I'm fairly sure if I try to half inch that bug in a dome, they're going to get angry. Anyway, I think I better end off. We're going off on a tangent, but you can kind of see what I get up to when you guys are not here. Just random sitting and admiring stuff that I could nick, but don't nick. Anyway, people inside the viewerverse, if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe and hit all those buttons that do stuff that make algorithms happy, whatever an algorithm is when it's at home, never seen one. I don't even think they're a real thing. Till next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.